Let's learn how to do this brochure in Word. Being on the home page, select Blank Document. If you click on the New tab, you can also select the Blank Document option too. In the main menu, select Layout. Here. Now, of the options available, let's start setting up the margins. Click on it and select Narrow. In the second section, Orientation, select Landscape option. In the Size section, select Letter, which is the first option. Finally, in the Column section, select the third option, 3. Now in the main menu, click on View and activate the ruler here. For both the front and back of the brochure, we need three rectangles, which will be the pages. The first page will be the front cover, and the second page the back cover. Let's start creating the first page. First, let's create a rectangle. In the main menu, select Insert, then select Shape. A menu is open, and in the Rectangle section, click the first shape here. Now start dragging your mouse to create the rectangle. Once you release the mouse, the shape format is opened in the main menu. In this section, let's start formatting the rectangle. On the right side, in the height field, type 8.5. And for the width, type 3.66. Be sure your shape is selected. Then go to the middle of the page here. And click on the shape fill option to establish a color. For example, let's select this one. Now in the second option, Shape Outline, click on No Outline. Once you have formatted the rectangle, hit Ctrl or Command C to copy the shape, then Ctrl or Command V to paste it. In this example, paste it twice. Now click in the middle of the shape to position each of them. For the rectangle in the middle, let's change the color, clicking again on the Fill Shape option. Finally, select your shape and click on Wrap Text here. And select the Behind Text option and activate the Fixed Position on Page. Let's repeat this process for each shape. Then position each of them. Be sure to select each shape by clicking on the middle of them. To create a second page, go to the main menu and click on Insert, then select the Blank Page option. In this new page, let's create three rectangles following the same process we just described. Let's add some images to the design. I have prepared some images, and you can see the link to them in the description below. Go to the main menu and click on Insert, then on Pictures. For this example, I have mine in my computer. That's why I clicked on this device option. Let's select all of them and then click on the Insert button. Now you must format each picture in order to move them wherever you want. Once you select the image, you can see that the picture format is open in the main menu. Let's click on the Wrap Text option here and then select In Front the Text option. Now click on the Wrap Text option again and then select Fix Position on Page option. To move your image, just click on it and move it wherever you want. Let's repeat the same process for each image. To add text, go to the main menu and click on Insert, then Text Box. Now click on the Draw Text Box option here. Click and drag it to wherever you want to add the text. If you want to move the text in front of the shapes, we need to format it. In the Shape Format section, click on the Shape Fill and check the No Fill box. Then in the Shape Outline, check the No Outline box. If you want to edit your text, go to the main menu and click on Home. Here you can edit the font, size, and all other styles that Word offers you. For our second page, let's repeat the same process we did adding images and text. Don't forget to save your brochure by hitting Ctrl or Command plus S, or go to the main menu and click on File, then select Save As. Type the name of your document in the File Name field. 
In the Save As type field, we recommend you choose the PDF format because it's a very useful format. If you want to print it, hit Control or Command plus P and follow the instruction. We're sure your brochure looks amazing. Be sure to check out our future videos describing many more amazing things you can do with words.